Hello my loves, my name is Chelsea. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel we talk about spirituality, consciousness, manifestation, law of attraction, and all of that awesome, high vibe, esoteric type of topics that can just help you really get in touch with your true authentic self and live from your greatest, most authentic being. So thank you guys all for tuning in on this episode. We're going to be talking a little bit about the upcoming spring equinox, the spiritual meanings behind it, and also a cool ritual that you can do to really just let go of that winter energy and bring in that renewing spring energy. So in 2022, the spring equinox is going to happen on March 20th at 1133 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely kind of cool that we got a couple of master numbers in there for when the equinox really hits its peak. So what is the equinox exactly? This is actually going to be when the earth is completely centered and balanced on its axis. So that means that we'll have the equal amount of light time daylight hours as we will have of nighttime darkness hours. So there's going to be 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness on the 20th. So this type of like energy that we have during this time is going to be an energy that's very balanced, very centered and very whole. And then also another important thing to know about the spring equinox is that this is when the balance of light shifts on the planet. And so we start to see the days getting longer and having more hours of light up until the summer solstice in June. So that's kind of a quick rundown of what the spring equinox is when it comes to astrology and just what's going on with the earth in general. So now let's get into the spiritual meaning of the spring equinox. Overall, this day is going to mark a day of balance and wholeness because the earth is totally centered on its axis. So this is a great time to really meditate and center yourself because all of like the energies of balance and wholeness and just that like oneness energy of everything being in equilibrium, that is going to be a really potent energy on the planet. It's going to really allow you to dive inside and go into that like oneness and wholeness that's within you. The spring equinox is also a joyful holiday and it's kind of centered around the whole darkness ending, the winter months coming to an end, and the light, joyful new beginnings of spring starting. So it's a really joyous event that is going to really bring in energies of renewal, rebirth, kind of restarting, a new growth, all of those awesome springtime energies that we love so much on the planet. So this is also a great time to really wake up to new ideas and dreams and set intentions for what you want your future to look like. The fresh, warm energy of the equinox really gives you the power and it's going to give you a lot of additional like support and coming alive, birthing new ideas, stepping into like a new phase in your life. It's all about regrowth, renewal, new beginnings, just all that stuff that you're kind of seeing mirror back to you in nature with all the plants coming to the surface, all the new growth, all the leaves coming on the trees. This is the kind of energy that you can really embody with this equinox and bring into your life. So the spiritual meaning kind of on a high level for this equinox is just that it is going to be to embrace the new beginnings of your life, embrace starting a new chapter in your life, embrace all those dreams and intentions that you have and plant the seeds to really start bringing and growing these intentions and these dreams into your day-to-day -day life so that you can focus on what you want and just take the steps, grow the seeds, to become the person that you want to be and the life that you want to create for yourself as you move forward in your life. So the energies around the spring equinox, it's very similar to like the energies that you would see around Easter, which is kind of like the Christian version of the spring equinox. So the energies are going to be very light and bright and colorful. So some of the colors that you can really wear to embody the energy of the spring equinox, blue is a good one. As you can see, I'm wearing a lot of blue. Pink is a good one yellow, bright greens. Those are all good colors that are really going to help you step into this fresh new energy of rebirth and renewal. And when it comes to crystals, the best crystals for the spring equinox, aventurine, clear quartz, and of course, rose quartz, which is my favorite. And I'm wearing, as you can see, a beautiful rose quartz necklace now to just really embody this energy of springtime and love and growth all this good stuff. So those are some good crystals that you can bring out and work with during this time. So now let's get into a good ritual to help you really ground yourself into the spring equinox. This is something that if you have a free day tomorrow when the equinox is happening or even just a couple days after the equinox happens, you can do this ritual and the energies are going to be very supportive in terms of allowing you to set these intentions and allowing you to really embody this ritual. So what you can do is first of all, 
if it's nice out where you live, it's always a good idea to go outside and be in nature, go to a park, something like that so you can really be in touch with these energies of new growth and rebirth and all of this. But if it's chilly where you're at, you can totally do this in your apartment and that is totally fine as well. So the first step is you're going to want to light a candle that is like one of those spring colors that I mentioned. It's like a green, a yellow, a red. If you're able to find like a solar plexus or a heart chakra type candle, that would be perfect to light something like that. And then bring out your crystals. Of course, if you have the quartz, the aventurine or the rose quartz, that would be perfect to like kind of surround your candle with those type of crystals. And then after that, I want you to take out a journal as well and meditate for a couple minutes and then journal like what are some things that the beginning of 2022 has brought you? What are some things that you're struggling with? What are some things that you want to let go? What are some things that you want to kind of just embody? Like look at kind of the person you've been this year and like how does that stack up the person that you want to be? Just take a few moments to really like meditate, go within and then journal a couple of those findings. You really only need like a quick five to 10 minute meditation just to center yourself and then journal. And after you have done this, um, I want you to then again, kind of set the intention, looking at the candle to really just release all of this like old energy, anything that you don't want from the beginning of 2022. You're gonna now set the intention to really just release these by really looking into the flame of the candle for just like five minutes and just kind of focusing on sending all these energies out of you and into the light of the candle so that they can burn in the flame and be transformed into like a energy of renewal or just kind of like an overall energy that has the potential to turn into something else. And then after you're done with this, um, what you can do next is once again meditate for five to ten minutes to just kind of center yourself and then bring out your journal. This time you're going to write two to three intentions that you really want to embody and see grow throughout the rest of 2022. So write these intentions down in your journal and then if you can write them on like sticky notes or something that you can like really put on a wall or put on your fridge so that you can see them throughout the day. That would be preferred. If you have these like in your line of sight as you're going about your day to day, it's gonna really help you to just kind of embed that intention into your mind, into your subconscious mind and kind of keep it so that you know what you're working towards and that you always have that reminder of the intention that you want to see grow this year. So if you're able to write them on sticky notes and stick them somewhere, that's perfect. But if you're not, that's totally fine too. You can just do the same thing that we did for the first journaling, which is look into the flame, focus on your intentions, and really just picture them growing, visualize them growing into what you want to see be birthed into the world. It's almost like you're setting the intention to like birth a new plant or like a new life into the world. Like these intentions are your seeds that you have written down. So you're going to really focus those on the energy of the fire of the candle to visualize what you want them to become. And in your mind's eye, just visualize the seed of the intention growing. Like sometimes you can visualize the steps that will happen as you reach that end goal of kind of like the flower blooming or what you want to see the intention bloom into. So that's what you can do. That meditation, feel free to take as long as you want to do that. It's a perfect thing to do tomorrow with the energies of the spring equinox, with the awesome regrowth, rebirth energies that are really gonna be hitting us hardcore on the 20th. So this would be a great ritual to do at that time. But of course, if you miss the spring equinox, the energies are always there. You know, for a bit of time afterwards, I would say about like a week or so is when you're gonna be able to really get the best effects. But um, if you do not do it right in the spring equinox, that's totally fine as well. So that's my ritual for the spring equinox. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watched to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your support and all your energy here on this channel. I hope that you learned kind of a little bit more about what the spring equinox is and the spiritual meanings behind this. If you do have ideas for other videos you'd like to see me create, definitely go ahead and post those in the comments. If you like this video, please click the like button. Of course, if you like this channel, subscribe for more high vibe videos like this. And then otherwise, just have a great rest of your week and have a great spring equinox. And I totally support you and put energy forth to helping you grow your spring equinox seeds into beautiful flowers. So have a great rest of your week. Namaste.